Welcome back to the Venom Workshop. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to test uh, a battery cell from one of our 2000 watt uh, e-bikes. Um, it works with all of our electric scooters or all of our electric ATVs. Uh, so I'm going to just show you how, real quick how to test. Um, you're going to want to get a battery tester. I'm not talking about a multimeter. A multimeter will not give you um, anything short of a voltage reading and that's it. So what I want you to get is one of these. This is a battery tester. It'll show what load is on the battery, what the life is left on the battery, um, and what's going on with it. Now, the thing about it, like I said, <clears throat> this tester will give the life that is left on the battery. Not just the, the voltage, but the life. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hook it up. And you just put your red on your positive. So the red goes on red. On these batteries, black goes on blue. And our tester lights up right away. What we're going to want to do is go to battery. Quick test. There's no engine on or anything. Uh, so cold cranking amps. This battery here has a very low cold cranking amp because it's not for cranking amps. It's for um, amp per hours. It's a little bit different. So just put your cold cranking amps at 100. Now we're gonna test. Uh, we're gonna test before charging. This battery's really low, it's just been sitting around. So you'll see right here, uh, retest after charging, it's state of charge is zero. So it's got zero, uh, less than zero volts. It's down to 10.55 volts um, and 58 cold cranking amps. So I don't have to, we don't have to worry about the cold cranking amps. The resistance is perfect, but you'll see right here, life. So this is the life left in the battery. So how long this battery is going to last is that 30%, 30.3%. This came out when a guy changed his whole pack of batteries. He wouldn't have had to change this one. This one needs a charge. But other than that, he didn't need to change that. But most times when somebody changes, they'll actually change the whole battery pack, not just one. So that's what you're going to need to do uh, is you're going to need to get one of these. So I could retest uh, after. Um, after I charge and it'll give me a different uh, a different setup uh, see it's saying 29.9 here because the voltage is dropped down so <clears throat> what you need to do <clears throat> is you need to get a battery tester uh, like I said a multimeter won't tell you anything it'll tell you what the voltage is but only the lowest voltage and the thing about this battery is is uh, right here it says it's 14.4 to 15 volts. This goes up to 20 volts or 24 volts. So I can tech, check a truck system with this and it doesn't hurt it. So get yourself one of these testers. They're real cheap on Amazon. They're about 20, 22 bucks or something like that. But it's worth it to have. Because not only does this tester test the battery, but if you have a gas car or a gas motorcycle, this battery tester also tests uh, alternator output or stator output so you can see that make sure that your battery is getting charged from the actual uh, the actual unit itself again that doesn't happen on the electric models uh, the only electric model that has that right now is actually Har Harley Davidson uh, it actually charges while you're riding and it does it only gives a nominal charge it doesn't give it like a full charge so there you go so that guys is how you test uh, a battery for any of our uh, 1500 watt ATV or our 2000 watt bikes or pretty well any of our scooter systems that run these uh, these uh, in-series batteries. So that's it guys.